What advice would you give a first time New Yorker? Um, don't start, don't even start looking at your splits to mile three, because you're going to go up the biggest hill on the course at the start, you're going to go down the biggest hill at the course right after, so those two miles are just warm up, right? And then use a mile to get into your rhythm, and then start checking your splits. All right, thanks. Good luck. So what advice would you give to first time New Yorker? Um, I would say uh, 20 miles is halfway, so that's something someone told me, and it's like you definitely want to have a lot of running left in your legs at 20 miles, so that and run the mile you're in. <laughs> that's good advice. That's what Jared said. He said really? halfway to the Bronx, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, thanks. Good luck. What advice would you give a first-time New Yorker? Uh, run, run your own race. Uh, don't worry about the people around you. Um, if you're feeling good, go with it. Not too early, though. Um, you know, just just do your thing. Have confidence in your training and see what happens. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. What advice would you give to a first-time New Yorker? Uh, halfway is when you're in the Bronx. I mean, it's you know, it's so easy on a course like this to get so excited with the energy, and then um, and then you get coming back down towards uh, towards the finish line with six miles to go, and uh, and it's not flat. You know, there's some up and down, and uh, and so I'd save a little, save a little for there. You know, when I when I think about that area of the course, I. I Honestly, it scares me a little bit. Like I, I get nervous thinking about how I know that part of the course is going to feel, and uh, and what my legs will be feeling like, and um, and so uh, it, getting through that part of the course is tough. And I think uh, I think saving something physically and emotionally for that part of the course is important. Is that the